Hello, this is Natalie once again back with uh, my Hoya Haven and I'm going to show you the rest of my downstairs plants. Um, some are Hoya, some are not. Um, but I'm going to start here in my bedroom and I'll show you the couple I have in my living room and the few I have in my kitchen as well. Sit tight. Okay, here's the view out of my back window in our bedroom. And as you can see, we have a lot of standing water from the rain the other day. But this one right here is my Pothos Marble Queen. Very beautiful plant. Pretty easy. I'd say almost as easy as the Golden Pothos. A um, little bit slower growing, but other than that. And then over here, I have my Hoya Pubicalyx. Let's see if I can get a, well, uh, sun shining is making it a little bit hard, but there we go. And this one loves to tendril. We've got tendrils going all over, all the way down to here. So, right, Hoya pubicalyx. All right, this is my living room. As of right now, I only have two plants in here, and that is both of my Sansevieria, also known as snake plant. This one I bought when he was close to that big, so he really hasn't done a lot. Maybe the, the longest leaf in the middle has grown, but other than that, he looks essentially the same. However, this one has grown a lot in my care. This was just a little baby when I got it. And then... So those are the only two plants I have right now in my living room. However, I have this corner over here. And as you can see, I have some plant stands. I have no plants. It's always been a pretty dark corner. And I think for my next project, I'm actually going to set some plants in this corner and set up some grow lights. Because I really miss not having plants in my living room. So. That, that'll be a project I will probably be recording and showing you. Okay, and now finally we're in the kitchen. Um, plant on the bottom is a fake plant, so <laughs> ignore that one. <laughs> and then on my shelf right here, I have, this was Golden Pothos cuttings that I just propagated and I decided to keep it. So I have another one of those. This is a Peperomia. I do not know what type of Peperomia, but um, he's done quite well. So, much bigger than when I got him. Right here is a fire stick. And um, he was really, really orange when I got him. And he's kind of since just turned to all green. So, I'm not, not really sure how I feel about him. Oh. And there's my big doggie. Bailey, come here. Come here, Bailey. I think she's camera shy. Come here, sweetie. Come here. <laughs> my big 170-pound mastiff. <laughs> I don't think she likes the camera. All right. So anyways, back to here. On the end here, I have my Pothos Global Green. Again, this was another clearance plant that has done wonderful. So I, I still have them in the same medium as when I bought them. Um, I think at some point I'll probably change it out, but the plant's doing so good right now, I kind of hesitate on doing that. So, And then up here at the top, I have my... This is my Pothos Pearls and Jade. Does pretty good, similar to the one I have at work. And then next to this, this is a jungle cactus. And I am not sure of exactly what kind. So I think I'm going to do a future video of all my jungle cactus or rip salis uh, sometime in the future. Um, I have a lot right now that I don't know the specific name, so I need to do some looking up on that. And once I have the names and some care tips, 
I will probably do a video on just Rip Salas because they're my second favorite behind the Hoyas. So, okay, here we go. And if you see any kitchen mess, please ignore. <laughs> here, I'll try to go above the mess. All right, the last ones I have downstairs are right here in my windowsill. And as you can see, my husband did make me this monstera leaf stained glass. And if you look a little closer, like right here, you can see where I immediately dropped it upon him handing it to me. Luckily, it did not completely break. It just put a little crack in it. So over here is an aloe vera plant. It's not your typical aloe vera. I just, I never really cared much for the aloe vera plants, but this one I really like. And, and I, I, again, I don't know what type of aloe vera he is, but he's grown a lot since I've had him. It looks like he's got like some new paddles here starting in the middle. So very cool. And then over here is another one. Of, I want to say, no, it's not a rip salis. The name I have is upstairs. <laughs> um, but it acts similar to a rip salis and a little piece fell off and I decided to propagate it and I just love these little plants in the window. Oh, and here's my littlest cactus. <laughs> I don't know why, but he fell off and I decided to save him. And he's, he's my tiniest plant in this little, little, little pot. So, and he's made it. I, I kind of thought I'd kill him, but he loves it out here. Okay, and my very last plant. This here is my Ripsalis salicornordis, also known as Dancing Bones. I did show this in an earlier video of plant updates, but he loves the window. So that's what we give him. So he's my biggest window plant. So I don't know, as I open windows in the spring, I may have to move these. I don't want them blowing over, but for right now, that's the last of my downstairs plants. Okay, very quickly, because my husband is waiting in the car, but I forgot three of my downstairs plants. Here they are. We have a plant over here. And, huh, simple foliage. I know what it is. I'll post it down below. I'm just drawing a blank right now because I'm under pressure to make this quick. Second one is my Hoya Australis. And third one over here, I believe it's another type of jungle cactus. Again, I will put the name down below. That's it. So thank you for joining me um, to look at the last of my plants. That's, if you watch all my videos, that's everything I have here currently. So, but I've got much more videos to come. So please like and share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.